Okay. I think I'm almost live. Let's see here. Here you go. Take it from me, yeah. Take it from me, yeah. Take it from me. What's the matter, Freddy Cat? This is only a tiny little bird. You mean a poor little dinsy wincy itsy bitsy defenseless boy? Yes. Let me at him! Let me at him! I'll get him, baby! Guys, we all moonlight him! Let me at him! Take it easy! Take oh, it easy! Show him! Where's he get that stuff? Don't hold me back! I'll get him! I'll show him! Come on, quit your fooling! Get up that ladder! Push me, Evan! Don't push me! Come on! I'm scared to go up high! I get hydrophobia. No, oh, I don't want to come on. But don't push me. Oh, come on. You can't make me do it. You can't make me do it. <laughs> he do it. Come on, stupid. Get the bird. <laughs> Give me the bird. Give me the bird. If the Hayes office would only let me, I'd give him the point, all right. It's, it's the the streaming that I'm on. So I'll take a step back and I maybe have to edit that out or something like that. But essentially, um, yeah, like as I've been giving up drinking and stuff like that, drinking and smoking, now I'm having to cope kind of with more, uh, yeah, thank you for any, with more natural ways, you know, like taking deep breaths, um, you know, thinking before I talk, which I'll definitely go into details how I kind of use some of those uh, skills or, you know, lessons or whatever. And hopefully it helps you out. Maybe it doesn't hurt you. But I just want to be transparent. So that was kind of something I said in the beginning. I just don't want to be fake on social media. A lot of people, you see them going on these trips all the time. You see them, you know, living these great lives. At least that's how it seems. And you're like, wow, they're never really having a bad time or anything like that. And it's almost like not real. So uh, I'm committed to giving you the good, the bad, the ugly. And uh, like I was kind of saying, is like in order for me to uh, be on the screen and not totally embarrass myself, I do have to kind of reflect and... Uh, 
you know, just think about like, where's the lesson in it? What can I do? How can I be better? Uh, today's theme is, uh, we're going to call it like coming clean, being open and willing to embrace the truth and learn from it. That's uh, kind of my daily theme here today. Uh, I can start off with golf. So I've said it before, like on days I golf, sometimes I lose a lot of the day and that's just kind of stressful in general. I already have like kind of a list of things I want to get done, which I'm going to get done. No doubt. It's funny. I'll have to fix the lighting on actually this side eventually. Um, let me just be right back. I'll turn the light on. It might help a little bit. We'll see. A light in the daytime might not do much, but uh, it could just be like the contrast and stuff like that that's hitting me. Ignore it if I have like the two face going. But um, yeah, so, you know, I was just stressed at golf. Golf sometimes throws me off, but I still want to golf. I'm in a league. I'm so blessed to do it. You know, getting to get out there and enjoy it. It's good exercise. Get to spend time with that. I just have been terrible lately. Like uh, I broke my three iron recently and that stinks because that was my best club. Uh, today on a positive note, at least trying to be positive, my chip game wasn't bad. And then uh, I uh, was able to drive the ball better than I've been driving it lately. So always trying to find positives out there and not just be like living in the negative. I think that's ultimately pretty important. Um, yeah. And I mean, I was miserable. Like, I'm not going to lie to you. <clears throat> I was frustrated. I even like punched my card a little bit. Uh, nothing crazy. Didn't like break a hand. It was just like enough that like, I didn't want to smash my club and break another, another club. When I broke my club. It wasn't me breaking it, by the way. I was just swinging it normal and I chunked it heavy. Um, I don't have the money to be breaking clubs by any means. Shouldn't even probably punch the cart. That's pretty unbecoming of me. Um, and I just felt like I brought the mood down a little bit. Uh, one thing that, you know, kind of annoyed me. I probably should bring this up with my dad is like, he was kind of like, getting his game thrown off. And he's like, oh, you know, I just got to ignore you, shut you out. And that like made me feel like I had to be quiet and couldn't really like express myself, um, which is fine. It's just the only negative I'll say and like, you know, bring it up with him is sometimes he does that like out on the course, he'll just bring his negative emotions and I just have to kind of deal with it. So, you know, it's nothing wrong with that. I, I agree with him that you don't want to have someone next to you uh, bringing down the mood when you're out there, you're trying to have a good time and no one wants to be around someone that's frustrated. So that was something to take on. Um, yeah, the other thing, like, I almost hit people twice, like, I had EL4 twice, and, like, one of it was a group of older men that I thought I was going to kill one of them when it was coming in, and luckily I didn't hit anyone, um, but I was scared of that, like, that was an honest fear, and then I found, like, the next few holes when I was hitting, uh, if someone wasn't paying attention, it was, like, in my head, and, yeah, we were just all backed up. It was a tough day of golf, but not going to let it get me down. I'm actually going to go to the gym after this, uh, kind of, like, was joking to my dad and, and Paul that we were out with, I was like, you know, this was the nightmare, and when I get home, I'm going to wake up from this nightmare and start my day for real. So hopefully that inspires you that just because you have like a bad start to the day doesn't have to be a bad end of the day. Uh, and I'm trying not to get discouraged. I think, you know, I just need to hit the driving range. I've switched up a few of my clubs. And so, uh, you know, in order to get the most out of my new clubs and just better myself, I got to get to the driving range, get the driver working, start just getting my distances down and hitting it straight. I got this weird hook. It's not a slice. I'm literally either hooking it or I'm, when I try to uh, fix the hook, I kind of open the face more. And then the open face is actually uh, causing me to just send it off to the right. And so towards the end, I had a couple like straight shots. None of them are really getting that far in the air. But that's something we can work on. That's why they have the driving range. Um, I do want to call out just like in general, like today wasn't a good feeling because I'm on this. And I'm talking about like, oh, like, you know, trust in God and pray God and, you know, be positive and be kind and. The most important thing is to be kind to yourself. And I don't think I was fully being kind to myself today. I was taking it a little bit hard. And just like, even the fact that I'm like, what are you, a hypocrite? Like, you say you're this nice and happy person. Like, how can you go on live and then pretend to be happy? So my promise was not to avoid it and wait till later and give you kind of like a fake phony live. I will probably go live when I have an update on how the remainder of the day goes. Um, but yeah, I mean, just don't want to be a hypocrite, right? Like, don't let the frustration ruin the day. Totally can bounce back. Um, you know, yeah, I'm, I don't know what that says. Like I'm committed to saving the day, I guess. And, uh, oh, I guess I just said the other day, rather, like I was telling uh, someone on a comment, like, you know, overcoming adversity is a huge skill. And, uh, this is a chance for me to overcome adversity. Not going to let it bring me down. And, uh, yeah, it was expected, right? Like not every day is going to be all sunshine and rainbows. I say that a lot. It's kind of like my slogan, I guess, but, uh, yeah, it's okay to have a bad day and uh, you just got to let your support system kind of come in and, and pick you up there. Um, let's see, probably turn down my volume just slightly. I'm hitting the yellow. Yeah, so 
there was this incident. And then I had a phone call that came in and I was kind of expecting this or something like this to happen more or less. And so uh, over the weekend, I had a showing. I was kind of mentioning the lock being a little funky. Um, it turns out the locksmith went out there and it was like kind of something I assumed. It, they basically said like the lock had kind of got bent a little. I tried to fix it. I just was running out of time. I bet if I had more time, I could have maybe fixed it without needing the locksmith. But I was honest enough that I like told the realtor that uh, whose listing it was. I was like, oh, I kind of, you know, couldn't get it to close uh, at first. Then when I did get it to close, I couldn't get it to open and probably should call a locksmith. So I was like open about that. But there was a little live omission there where, you know, admittedly just me being not cheap, but not having the money necessarily to replace it if needed. It was probably partially my fault. It was an accident, nothing intentional, but I had the door open and somehow the deadbolt kind of closed on itself and then locked. So shame on me for not being more upfront. It just would have been like an easier conversation. Again, I'm just hard on myself and I really like honesty. Um, so just calling myself out there that honesty always will set you free. It reminds me of Dale Carnegie. There's a pretty similar like life lesson in that and that it's easier to kind of get ahead of it rather than not. And I always said it in work is like the only time an issue or a mistake becomes an issue is when you don't kind of like acknowledge it right away. Or you don't uh, bring light to it. And so, you know, definitely lesson learned there. Um, what I also learned was like, I don't have to necessarily go around in the inside with the people uh, when I have an open house, because my idea was I want the door open. So it's welcoming. So people know this is the open house. So going forward next time, I'm just going to be outside. The door can close. Uh, if I need help, I'll, I'll bring in someone else. So everything happens for a reason. Truthfully, if I have to pay to fix the lock, I totally understand. I said I'd split the cost or take the cost. I'm hoping that they won't make me. There's either like a insurance or they'll just kind of eat the cost, but I get it. Like it's not ideal at all. And you know, if I was in their situation, I'd probably want someone to pay for it. So I told my broker, like, definitely I accept, you know, responsibility. And if anyone listens to this, that, uh, you know, it's kind of in that world, definitely, you know, wasn't intentional to be that way. I definitely was like called the locksmith, um, and kind of expected to be called out and it just would have looked better. Uh, overall, I think if I, uh, got ahead of it for sure. Hey, what's up, Christian? How's it going? Um, Honestly, I, I big thank you to Franny for mentioning earlier on. I had like a lot of noise just because something I had set up wasn't quite working right. Um, but so glad she brought that to my attention. If anyone ever has anything uh, in the, you know, the stream, the quality that could make it better, definitely let me know. Hopefully this time around, Instagram won't uh, screw me so much. So as you've probably seen, like I posted the same video on Instagram like five times, got on Facebook. Usually what happens is when I go live on Instagram and Facebook at the same time, even when I post the uh, Instagram after, it wouldn't get to Facebook. And so that's my fault. I'll definitely monitor that uh, monitor that, so I don't post twice to Facebook uh, the same video essentially and just confuse people and maybe annoy people. That will be something that I, I kind of take on. The other thing um, that I definitely want to, uh, you know, just take on or acknowledge is that uh, – I don't know why it was like not letting me post the full video. They say you can post hour long videos on Instagram after the fact. So I'll have to look into exactly what's going on there and try to get it working better. Um, but yeah, the last thing I will say before I kind of go over what my next steps are, um, it's just something that like happened with a close friend of mine. Uh, I want to acknowledge like before I go and sound like I'm just blaming them for everything or, you know, saying they're a bad friend or something like that. Like I have a part in it. Uh, not only have I allowed it to get this way, but for some reason, like this person I'm really close with, they get to see my nasty side. So I tend to be very nice outgoing, uh, to everyone else in the world. Like many people probably are, you know, you don't want to be mean to your friends and stuff like that, but maybe you have that one friend, maybe you have that one, uh, you know, sibling, uh, mother, whatever it is like, and you just like, you show them a side of you that no one else really gets. And it's not in a good way. It's not like, Oh, I'm very vulnerable. It's like, you almost take out some of the things, um, which definitely isn't fair. So I'll acknowledge that. And, uh, you know, I definitely saw like when we're playing video games, um, which is so unbecoming of me. Like I don't even want to play video games anymore. And I often am only doing it to socialize. But uh, even then I'm like, oh man, these video games are just so stressful, kind of annoying. Like playing Call of Duty, the way people play right now is like, they really just want to win. Like to a point where like, they're not cheating, but they like exploit the game a little bit. It's just not fun. Like I, we're playing Madden. And people just run the same play that's kind of, it's called like spammy or glitchy. I don't know. But they essentially spam spam these plays. It's just, it's not as fun anymore. And good for them. I mean, you know, it's awesome. I kind of blame like streamers and YouTube on that one. But um, yeah, I mean, so anyways, video games have been stressing me out. 
his mic not having that stressed me out. And I just like, I freaked out at him and I apologize. So I don't know if you ever had anyone that you apologize to and they seem to accept the apology, but then a few days later, or, you know, when you're having a dad moment, they kind of bring it up and it stinks. And, um, yeah, I was just really bummed because like I was telling them today, like, Hey, I don't really want to talk today. I don't really feel like being on the phone. I had a bad day. And me, I'm the kind of guy, like, you must know that, like, if someone says that to me, I'm, I'm picking up the phone or I'm like, hey, is there anything I can do? So sorry to hear that. Like, and I'll basically say, like, as many nice things as I can to them. It just threw me off that they're like, uh, okay, uh. And, like, basically, like, as if they were upset that I was having a bad day. And I'm like, wow, that's not really how I want my relationship uh, to be with them or really anyone in my life. You know what I mean? And so I have to kind of reflect on that. And at the moment... I was pretty pissed off and upset, maybe not even very nice or understanding back, but I just needed that little bit of uh, friendship, you know, the reach out of the hand uh, from them at the time. I'm feeling a lot better now, honestly, and I'm hesitant. I'm almost like, oh, I'm healed. I don't need to go to the gym, but I think going to the gym will help. I want to be going to the gym regularly, so definitely going to use this frustration to throw away, uh, around some weights, go on a nice little walk when I get there, and then just kind of finish my day. Um just trying to see if I have anything else written here. I don't want to go too into it. Um, yeah, I mean, I think just for me, I've always kind of, um, I've always felt like, what do I want to say? Like, you don't want to like cancel people from your life. You don't want to say, oh, they're toxic and just like not talk to them. It's okay to not talk to people or not necessarily like allow them to impact you negatively. But I try not to like completely write people off. I don't think that's fair either. Uh, and I'm not writing them off by any means. I just think I've, kind of allowed them to walk all over me and, and, you know, get the benefit of me and my kindness. Well, when I need them, they're not necessarily there. and They're not a bad person for it or anything like that. In fact, it's often not their fault. They have a diagnosed mental illness. Um, but it just feels a lot of times like I'm not allowed to be human. I'm not allowed to have feelings in the relationship. It's very much like they're where the highway and, you know, me constantly apologizing because they, they don't ever apologize. Not, not once, never. Um, but yeah, so I, you know, like I said, it's not their fault. It's not my fault. Well, I, I'll take full blame if I have to. Like, I can be the jerk if I have to be. Um, but at the end of the day, I'm just going to take space from them. You know, I, that's all that I can do. It's probably best for both of us is space. Um, so that's where I kind of have it written down. The last bit, and I know I love to say last bit here, but just kind of ending it up quickly, shortly after. I'm going to go to the gym. I'm going to go on a walk. I'm going to complete some real estate tasks. And uh, there's actually this like young adult thing for my church. It sounds pretty cool. It's not like you have to go every week, but they kind of like serve some dinner. You get to talk to people, shoot some hoops. I'm debating it, at least as like a starting point. Might not do it this week, but definitely soon. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to end it now. I really appreciate everyone joining. Just know like I'm not actually feeling that bad anymore. I feel a lot better. Just reflecting is huge. Um, basically, thank you all for being my therapist, I guess. It's a me kind of talking here and I can self-reflect and, and also there. Yeah, I am authentic. Yeah. I, I think I'm being authentic, uh, for sure. I, you know, admitted, admitted where I've had some issues and, uh, you know, that's the goal here is like being transparent and authentic. Not every day is going to be perfect. Um, we, we're not perfect. No one's perfect by any means. And it's just about doing, uh, what's best for you ultimately. And, and I hope you guys can all make that decision, even if it's tough, right? Like you might have someone in your life that you'd give the world to and you really love. But if it's just not working for you and it's just frustrating and they're not necessarily listening to you, it's not worth your time. And I'm not saying write them off forever, but maybe just take a break from that relationship for a little bit. Especially, I don't like the word recovery because, you know, I don't know if I'm recovering. Um, but in my sobriety, like, I don't think it's good for it. And so I'm not going to put up with it. I don't need to put up with it. They don't think I'm a nice person. That's fine. Like, they don't need me in their life either. Completely okay with that. Um, I feel like I do a lot for them. And if they don't see that, that's fine. I do think they do stuff for me, but it does feel like it's gotten really one-sided at this point. Um, I can see people are kind of joining in. I got six, which is once again, some of my top numbers. I'm uh, going to wrap it up with follow me on TikTok. I'm trying to get to that thousand mark so I can go live. Uh, if you guys have TikTok, definitely follow me on uh, TikTok. Uh, anyone who's watching this kind of after the fact, thanks for joining in. I hope you have a great day. I hope even on your bad days, you can maybe hear something in this and take something from it. Um, yeah, awesome. And for the lock that's broken, if you want to help me pay for it, let's buy that house. Uh, we'll get you a brand new lock in there anyways. You don't want a lock that's like that. What's the work lo workout looking like? 
I'm thinking for the workout, going to do arms because I'm just like, who doesn't love a good buys? I like to work the delts. Um, so I'll probably do kind of like shoulder shrugs, some delt lifts, side raises, probably shoulder press because I want to get in into a, a bench, but I'll have it like obviously up for shoulder stuff. Um, maybe military press. So just a bunch of shoulders and arms. Always like hitting the back when you're doing that just to kind of round it out. And uh, I'll probably do some walking and then uh, some ab workout. Nothing crazy. I just do like planks for a minute each way. Hell yeah. I appreciate it, bro. No, that's good. You're pumping me up, dude. Max gains, dude. Big looks, big looks. But um, yeah, I hope you guys all have a great day. If you're like me and you don't always work out, let this be the inspiration to work out. If you're having a bad day, work out. You know what I mean? Get out there while you can. Um, you know, if someone tells you they're having a bad day, try your best to like help them out. Don't, don't put your burns on them. I think a lot of times for some reason people think it's helpful. Like it's almost a competition. Like, well, your day stunk. Here's how bad my day was. And Here's how my life's so much worse. It's not a competition to the bottom. Let's all rise, bring each other up, and uh, I hope you all have a great day. Bear with me while I shut down the various streams, shutting down Facebook first. Then I'm going to shut down Instagram. Thank you guys again for joining. Really love it. Really appreciate everything you guys do, and I hope you have a good one. And then now for uh, Twitch and YouTube. You guys are the last, last standing. But uh, thanks again. I want to keep posting. I want to make this a lot more seamless for everyone. I hope you like it. Follow me on TikTok 